Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is in hot water all over again. For the second time this year, he's being accused of sexually assaulting a woman. The woman's name has not been released. She's listed as Jane Doe. And J Jane Doe accuses Jerry Jones of forcibly kissing her on the mouth uh, without her consent on or about September 16, 2018. Not 2022, 2018 uh, at AT&T Stadium. She accused uh, Jerry of sticking his tongue in her mouth and forcibly grabbing and groping her. She claims that in the room was full of witnesses and that included former head coach Jason Garrett, running back Ezekiel Elliott, Tyrone Crawford, Tyrone Smith, and other prominent cowboy players. She also says that Jerry Jones' new wife was also present and defensive end Demarcus Lawrence was also present. Seems a little bit strange to me, but okay. Um, you know, this man has been accused several times of several uh, inappropriate sexual activities. Um, but doing it in front of all these players and, and your wife-to-be, I don't know. Um, she claims she has severe injuries, emotional distress, psychological pain and suffering, and medical expenses. She says she has nightmares and she has trouble focusing, competing day-to-day -day tasks at work and at home. Uh, she gets nervous around men and can't be alone with men. Uh, the plaintiff cries often because of what the defendant Jerry Jones did to her uh, and doesn't want any other woman to experience such assaults. So that is her reasoning, she says, for uh, coming forward at this time. She says she's seeking, she's seeing, sorry, uh, a doctor for treatment and experiences headaches, dizziness, extreme sadness, night sweats, panic attacks, nausea, depression, PTSD, crying spells, and other mental and physical problems as a result of the alleged incident. Um, she also is suing the NFL for turning a blind eye for all this illegal behavior that he has done over the years. I guess what she's trying to say is because they did nothing, um, you know, people were put in the situation where they could be abused or assaulted by him. Um, so, and she also claims that um, she's, her, her complaint also with the NFL, sorry, is that they failed to supervise and stop Jerry Jones and allegedly tampering with criminal evidence and allegedly threatening victims and witnesses to deter criminal complaints among other accusations. So this comes just a few days after Washington Commander's owner, Dan Schneider, you know, threatened to reveal what owners and the NFL have been doing. Remember, there was one of my videos where he threatened to dish the dirt. Um, so is this one of the incidents he's talking about? I don't know. This to me seems a little bit strange. Again, I don't see a criminal charge, only a civil. So I always have issue when somebody in these types of situations don't want... To go to court criminally because for me if that were to happen I would want that person in jail that would be my incentive the money you know if she has medical bills absolutely I see it and maybe some pain and suffering but I think it's more important to hold him liable criminally especially since you're suing the NFL saying that they didn't do the right thing and hold them accountable, but yet you haven't done anything for, you know, four years and are suing them only civilly. 
Um, again, I don't know if she tried to get as a criminal lawsuit against him and the prosecutors denied, maybe, but the, I, I've heard nothing about this until this point. So subscribe to Rovis Rants, hit the like button. I'll keep you up to date on the Jerry Jones situation because I'm sure more stuff is going to come out. Um, we'll see you soon.